So we've talked about harnesses with the dogs and it's really important that the harnesses fit well. The other important part is a line. Now the line needs to, is the one that fits between the dog and your waist belt. Um, and it's really important that the dine has lots of bungee in it as well, which acts as a really good shop absorber between you and the dog to make sure there's no injury issues. Lots of different lines that you can choose from and we're going to talk about the line and the length. There's lots of different brands, there's lots of different companies that all produce leads. Um, and it's again, it's personal preference of whichever type, style, even colour that you like. As I say, the important bit is they've got bungee in it, which means that the give is between you and the dog. So we've got different styles here. Again, different lengths of lines. Um, most of the important thing to remember is if you are racing um, at any race is to check the regulations as to the length of lead you're allowed. The majority say that they should no, be no longer than two meters when fully extended. And that certainly is the case if you're running at international or European events. If you're going down to your local park run, it always states you should have a short line. So if you are gonna to go to a park run and run with your dog, then make sure it's only about 1.2 to 1.5 meters. So what you're gonna do now is uh, check the line length of your line make sure it's suitable for the racing or runs that you're going to be doing and a really good tip as well is keep checking especially if you've got uh, brass hooks as well make sure that the base of it there hasn't worn at all and it's not going to pull through and snap again make sure with your cannabinas that there are um, plenty of movement there they're not worn in any way and that your gate is done up again the last thing you need is for your dog to be running off um, and with the Kenny Bean is always worth sharing for wear and tear, seeing the same signs of fraying at any point.